You, despite what it may seem from our reviews, not everyone is buying tricked out gaming PCs. That sort of power is overkill for most people, and often, gaming desktops are just medium-sized towers with a Core i5 and a mid-range graphics card. You, desktops not unlike Dell, S redesigned XPS tower say. In our case, it is the XPS 8910 say, special edition, which is configured separately from the standard edition. Our review unit is the basic model with a Core i5 and a 1TB HDD. With a bump to the GTX 1070 instead of the RX 480. You, those are decidedly mid-range components. And they carry a correspondingly mid-range $1. 200 price tag. Can this budget Dell keep up with the competition? You, the Dell S short stature and mundane appearance betray the powerful internals packed inside. In fact, it would be hard to describe the Dell as anything but boring, it would fit in alongside any other office computer without raising an eyebrow. You, the SA dual edge sword. The Dell S inconspicuous look will be exactly what a lot of users want. No fancy lights, no big windows, or flashy exterior. At the same time, it doesn't have the same construction quality we often see on some dedicated gaming desktops. The plastic is a little on the flimsy side, and the fins over the fans bend if you put your hand on them. Panels don't line up perfectly either, particularly where the doors come off. You, on the upshot, the system is quite small. Even mid-sized gaming rigs tower over this Dell. If you need something that fits on a small desk, or next to your TV, the Dell S slight stature gives it an edge over beefier machines. You, around back you, I'll find a selection of useful ports. There are two, USB 2, 0 ports for keyboard and mouse, 4 USB 3, 0 ports, and a single Type-C connection. Ethernet makes an appearance as well. And there are HDMI and DisplayPort connection for the internal graphics. You, every XPS tower say say is VR ready. So the most basic option available has an 8GB RX 480. While our review unit is packing a GTX 1070. Depending on which card you go with, your video connection options will vary. But should include at least one DisplayPort and one HDMI each. That means you can hook up a VR headset and an external display at once. You, as you might expect given IT's, 